actually almost forgot how to write the kanji. That's how long it has been. Tada ima. Ikimas. Fikanons. Kita ai raku. Konnichiwa. Konbawa. Hi everyone. Fikanon here. As always from Tokyo, Japan. Oh my gosh. I haven't been doing this recording for almost two months, I guess. August was summer holiday. That's why I had like super busy month because there are kids who decided to come twice a week instead of just once a week because they don't have school. I didn't know that I'll be as busy in September because there were also new kids coming. There were also holidays in between of September. Plus, I had my first and second vaccine shot in September. That's why I decided to not push myself too much, not to burn too much midnight oil. Well, at the end of the day, I still cannot get away from sleeping late. Now is the worst, actually. I can only wake up at 9.30 and I sleep or more like I'm only sleeping when it's 1 or 2 a.m. <sighs> but anyway, if it means that I can still be active, I can still update my pages, and of course, I can do this video again, I guess it's okay. Although, I would like to apologize to my partner because I cannot really let him sleep early. <laughs> and autumn is coming. I started to wear double layer. Well, I still enjoy wearing outfit with sleeves. And yes, I want a duplicate of myself because I also go back to studies. And then I'm starting to do 20 to 30 minutes of indoor exercise every day with fit boxing. Mm. This episode is a special episode, even though I wrote that it's episode 17, I was thinking more of it to be 16.5 because this episode will only be updates of what have been going on since the last episode. So without further ado, here comes Vikanon's update. <laughs> I don't exactly remember the exact reason why I couldn't do any recording on the first week of September. It's either there was consecutive holiday or I actually had my first vaccine shot. I had Pfizer. The anger I had when I was doing the reservation was completely gone due to the smoothness of this whole procedure. So I went there, there was no queue, there was no seating to wait. I went in, I registered, and then right away I had my shot. And after the shot, I was to sit there for 15 minutes to see whether there's any side effect. There was none at all. So yes, the whole thing ended like in less than 30 minutes. Mm, I was very surprised. And after that, right away I had a quick nap and I went to work as usual. I didn't feel any side effect. I did feel arm pain. My friend told me to drink pokari sweat before and after the shot. And I did that, I drank the first half before the shot and I drank the later half after the shot. I guess that really worked for me. I also had proper meal with soup and rice and I had cut piece, the one that I reviewed during previous episodes. So I guess I got enough liquid in my body even during the next day. And the day after that, I made sure I have no early appointments. There's nothing that disturbed me from working at all. So I guess I'm not sure whether it's really working or not. <laughs> I had two trips done in September, first being to Hakone. I went to Hakone once back in November 2020, but I didn't stay over. During that time, I only went for an athletic park. I had two nights staying in Hakone, and it was my first time driving. Apparently, a difficult drive because it was mountainous area so there were lots of curves there was even this part where there's notice that there will be seven curves upcoming well that part my partner happened to be the one driving but yes i realized that it's better to drive than to be at the passenger seat because you will feel less dizzy if i'm the one driving but well it's done <laughs> i went to this little prince museum it was super cute and I took lots of photos and been updating only those photos in September. I went to this cafe that had food bath but it was midsummer so I kinda regret going to onsen related area in midsummer but it has been a while since I stayed in a ryokan. Breakfast and dinner is served in the room. There's no sofa so there's no choice but to sleep early. Oh I brought sweets along with me so I finished half of the Ace Attorney Chronicles. I also went to this Furei Park. We were out of idea of where to go because we had enough onsen. There was actually this onsen park that I would love to go, but we will need swimming suit. 
to enter but instead we went to this area that have petting corner so we were having fun with dogs and cats although of course the animal don't really get close to us because we don't have any food I also visited IKEA on my way back from Hakone to Tokyo it was my first time visiting IKEA in Japan well I visited IKEA before in Singapore like twice but I almost have no idea and I really wanted to eat the meatball I actually lied to the cashier by saying that I'm actually buying for a kid because I got the 4 meatball set but it's only available for kids below 12 years old well, I didn't have the tummy to eat 8 meatballs, that's why my partner didn't want to eat as well, so yes <laughs> and then on our way, there was this surface area that actually had a toilet that will measure your tiredness level it was pretty interesting, although I don't think it's really accurate because how much can really be measured just by sitting down on a toilet bowl? <laughs> I met my girlfriends for gathering at Shibuya. I haven't been going to Shibuya because I know it's one of the crowded area in town even though during this COVID-19 situation. I did some window shopping. I went to Jara. I wanted to get necklace and earring with my initial but there was only earring left. I'm like, what the heck? How many people in Japan do really have V as their initial? Even online, it was not available anymore. So, oh well, I just settled for what's there. And I went to Disney store. I saw many Loki goods. Ah, I was so tempted to get them, but then green is not really my favorite color. So I managed to not splurge on them. <laughs> I went to eat Indonesian food for dinner. Well, it's an Indonesian restaurant and everyone was speaking Indonesian but they didn't use a single Indonesian. Well, sometimes it's difficult to keep on changing my brain to speak what language, especially when I'm in work, I'm talking to my kids in Japanese and then I'm talking to my boss in English and then when I'm talking with my friend, I had to change to Indonesian as well. So yes, I just didn't use a single Indonesian. but. I think they know that I'm Indonesian because at the end, when I pay, the cashier told me Terima kasih cantik! And okay, <laughs> well, arigato! <laughs> I'm happy for that! <laughs> and the next trip I went was in mid-September. I went to Kisarazu. This is the first time in this year I went to Kisarazu. Last year I went twice. Oh, this year I already went to Gotemba twice. <laughs> first in July and the other one in September because from Hakone to Gotemba is only like what half hour drive? For the last two factory outlet trips, it was very surprising that I got almost nothing. I only bought Kate Spade stuff and my partner were the ones who did the first kill. I guess I just really love window shopping. On the way to Kisarazu, we dropped by Bumi Hotaru, which is one of the surface area. Apparently they have free food bath there as well, but we didn't stay too long because we were on the way to the factory outlet. And we stayed at night in a business hotel. I went there on a silver week, three consecutive holidays in September. I went on a Monday because people start working on Tuesday. So the hotel I went, there was almost nobody. Then the onsen I went, it was pretty much like private onsen. <laughs> and the next day, well, my partner wanted to do surfing in other side of Chiba. So he dropped me at Chiba station and I conquered Chiba Animato. Yay! I I also check out the Lasimba and they also saw Suragaya but I didn't visit it at all because I need to go to work. And then comes 26th of September, which is the eve of my 26th birthday. Oh my god, I'm entering the later half of 20. But mm, I'm still less young and energetic as ever. <laughs> I'll explain why. And yes, on the 26th of September, that's on Sunday, I reserved the whole day of my partner's schedule. But the first half of the day, we were queuing in a dermatologist. <laughs> For the last few months, I've been experiencing itchiness around my face and around my ear and neck. It was at Ikebukuro because I really wanted to do 
indoor sport at first i wanted to do bowling billiard dart karaoke during that time tokyo was still in state of emergency karaoke at some places is not open yet although shibuya is still open well even during state of emergency there were people drinking from daytime in shibuya it's just so easy to get alcohol in convenience store well what can we say about that and then i ended up doing some window shopping in ikebukuro sunshine and we went to check out namja town it was my first time entering the place well i was interested in the jojo exhibition well i thought that the games would be like for free but apparently they were to pay so i ended up only getting goods <laughs> i bought lots of goods from there jojo related well it was a weird place i don't think we will step our feet in again and at night i had barbecue in jojo and i've been looking forward to that the most I first time ate Jojo Wen back in February this year and it was so good so I requested my partner to have dinner there. We enjoyed that a lot. The next time my parents come or any of my family come, I really wish they would try Jojo Wen as well. It's recommended. Well, even though it's a chain store, it's pretty much everywhere in Tokyo, they actually serve good meat. And then it's my birthday. I decided not to announce it at many places. Well, I decided not to announce it in general, but there were lots of people who are still very caring to send me very sweet and sporting messages. <sighs> it was truly one of the best days in my life in this year, or in my life in general. So first thing first, when I was on my way to work, I saw my favorite cat, or more like the cat that I always see in your home. I'm sorry, I didn't bring food again this time i'm really quite worried about giving it food because i'm not sure whether it is a stray cat or it's a normal cat i'm not sure at all i think it will be quite responsible for me to just give it food without being careful and then i wanted to eat gyudon so there's gyudon store nearby my workplace well i've been wanting to eat gyudon for quite some time because it's not near gym so i always give it up but when I was ordering from the machine, there was an Odisa who was behind me. So I was afraid that he will wait too long and get ira and get irritated. So I just picked one that says low carbo, means low carbohydrate. Apparently it was no carbo, as in there was no rice at all. So it was just salada and beef slices. Oh well, it's only 380 yen, so I guess I can't complain much. But yes, that was super funny. And after that, I had work and usually Monday is one of my hardest days because I still cannot really control the kids, but that day the kids were super super good. I wonder what came to them. <laughs> well, I guess the key of life is to not expect too much. Mm. I didn't expect anything will be different even though it's my birthday <laughs> because for the last two years I also didn't have any like surprise midnight celebration by my partner or by anything so yes I decided to keep my expectation low and after that I got Disney cake well I ordered it a few days before it has been a culture between me and my partner to not get each other birthday cake so I got my own birthday cake and I've been wanting this cake for so long and of course I really wish to visit Disneyland again this year but I haven't got the chance to so I really enjoyed this cake it was super cute well I already killed one of the six of it had the chocolate part which is the Cinderella part with my partner on that day and yes I did video call with my parents with my family and I received very precious present from my partner I've been wanting to get backpack oh well this year I've been complaining that I want a lot of things so I guess I give him lots of idea of what I would really be happy of <laughs> usually I would go to gym during my birthday well this time I just did fit boxing at home I've been doing fit boxing for the last two weeks although I couldn't clear the first one week because I had my second vaccine shot at first, I thought that the reservation would be as hard as the first reservation, but I decided to be a bit patient and assess the website 5 minutes after it opened instead of like rushing and then fighting with all the other people. So yes, I got my vaccine shot exactly 3 weeks after my first shot and I don't know, everyone was like worried and warning me a lot about the second shot, even my boss kept on messaging me whether I'm alright or not, but it was even less effective than the first shot I felt <laughs> well I couldn't do the fit boxing and of course I still felt 
arm pain, but I felt less tired. Uh, I still stay up until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and even the day after that, I had early morning appointment at Indonesia Embassy to extend my passport, and it was totally all right. I did some nap, but that was all about it. So I don't know whether the vaccine really is effective for me or not. <laughs> Then I also received present from my family, from my cousin. Coffeenetics coffee from Medan. Wow, now I can taste home from Japan. <laughs> I guess that's all my babbling for what happened in September. I can't wait to record real episode 17 next week. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for this throwback episode, for this updates episode. <laughs> It's actually very nostalgic to record at my workplace. I only did recording at my workplace once before, which is the first episode of Kido Airaku. So this being like a reboot episode, I guess it's great to be able to record it here. I actually was a very Damenningen, a very no good human during the last weekend, where on Sunday I just sleep it by stuff, sleep it, and then did fit boxing, shower, and then sleep again. And yesterday, on Monday, I could actually did the recording as well, but on the morning, I was super, super tired. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess too much sleeping. Mm. Too much sleeping is no good, okay? <laughs> but at least I did finish blog updates and Twitter updates during my hiatus of this recording. Now, there's no more half year gap between the throwback blog posts and the future real-time happening. Mm. I start to write about June 2021 this month, yay! And should be able to clear both June and July this month. Well, I won't be able to clear 2021 during 2021 because there are actually lots to write for August. Like more than one week entry for Twitter itself. <laughs> well, it's time for the normal, what do you call that? Hitokoto Nihongo? Well, next episode, I'll be continuing with the, what call it, keyword talk, although I'm still at loss about what to talk about for you. 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 <laughs> hey, so here it goes. Soro-soro, mata samoku naru yo ne. Ja, karada wo kiyotsuke nai to ne. We will be calling again soon, so please be careful of your health. That's all I can say. I guess people can start traveling again next year, hopefully. It's not that I really want to get out of Japan, but of course, I do miss traveling as well. And I really wish my family and my friends can come back to Japan very soon as well. Hi, so as usual, help first. Kenko <laughs> daichi. All right, that's all I have. Please feel free to give me comments, messages. Everything means a lot to me. Thank you for watching. This was V as always from Tokyo, Japan, and mata ne, mata reishu. See everyone again next week. I'll do my best with my very very long editing. <laughs>